Kristen Cole is the ultimate example of someone throwing a decades-long temper tantrum, but season two is coming, so let's talk 10 facts about the pumped and dumped knight, Sir Kristen Cole. I took an oath as a, as a knight of, of your king's garden, an oath of chastity. I've broken it. I, I've, I've soiled my, my, my white cloak. It is okay, I don't like countdowns, so I'm just going to count up, starting with number one. Sir Kristen Cole is from House Cole, a noble house in the Stormlands. In the time of the show and books, it isn't known if his house is extinct or still going on, and people of the house may be part of those exiled who join the Golden Company. I'm still absolutely crossing my fingers that his entire house is wiped out by the time of the books and main show. Number two, in lore, Sir Kristen Cole was actually 22 years years old when he gave a seven-year-old Rhaenyra the victor's laurel and begged her to wear his favor in the joust at the tourney celebrating Viserys coming to the throne. Which, that age difference was a bit creepy. I'm kind of glad they made them a bit closer in age in the show because I, I don't want to see a 22-year-old macking on a seven-year-old, you know? Number three. Alicent in the book lore was actually concerned about Kristen's closeness to Rhaenyra after Viserys made him his daughter's protector and he became a Kingsguard at the age of 23. She actually thought Rhaenyra was the one that needed to be protected from the man. Though Daemon thought that Cole still saw her as a little girl and would never see the woman she became. Number four. Cole was actually made Lord Commander of the Kingsguard before Viserys' death in book lore. He was even Lord Commander before Rhaenyra's wedding to Laenor. So the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard we see after the whole takeover by the Greens. Yeah, he was long dead before the usurping ever happened. Number five, Sir Cole specializes in the Morning Star. Not the coolest fact, but a cool weapon, so I, I just wanted to include it, sorry. Number six, though we see how it actually played out in the show, in book lore, there's actually two versions of the whole Rhaenyra Kristen first time together. In one story, Cole came to Rhaenyra's room and finally told her that he loved her and wanted to be with her. He told her he had a ship in the bay and wanted her to leave with him to Tyrosh or Old Volantis where they could be married. At this point, Rhaenyra had moved on from her obsession with Kristen and told him she deserved a better life than a wife of a common sellsword. And if he could discard his kid, Kingsguard vows, then he could just as easily throw away his marriage vows. Furious, Kristen then left her room. Now in the second version in book lore, it is Rhaenyra that once more tried to seduce Kristen. Going to the White Sword Tower, she found him alone. Locking the door, she stood before him completely naked and told him she saved her virginity for him, telling him, Take it now, as proof of my love. It will mean little and less to my betrothed, and perhaps when he learns that I am not chast, he will refuse me. In this version, it's actually Cole who rejected her, still remaining true to his vows as a Kingsguard. Rhaenyra was the one that left in a fury. In book lore, it isn't clear exactly which one happened. We just know that that is when the relationship between the two turned deadly. After that night, they both hated each other, and Cole wanted nothing to do with her. I kind of really like in the show how they combined elements of both versions from the World of Ice and Fire, Fire and Blood book, which I guess goes back to that saying, there's three three sides to every story, each person's side, and then the truth, which is somewhere in the middle. All right, number seven, Kristen Cole broke multiple bones of Harwin Strong in book lore. Seven days of jousting and feasts were held after Rhaenyra married Laenor in 114 AC. In the tourney, Cole wore Alicent's favor and just absolutely dominated the competition. When he went up against Harwin Strong, he broke his collarbone and shattered his elbow. Kind of sad we didn't get to see that in the show. Number eight, in book lore, instead of killing Joffrey Lawnmouth at the wedding feast, he instead delivered a blow to the man at a tourney that led to the man's death six days later. Number nine, there's actually two different versions of how Cole killed Lyman Beesbury in book lore. One says he slit the man's throat, while the other says that he threw the man out a window. However, given both sources weren't in the room at the time, it could be that he did it the way we see in the show. Honestly, I don't know which way I'd rather go, the throat slitting, the being thrown out a window, or having my face bashed into the table. You can let me know which way would you prefer to go. Finally, number 10, Cole is called the Kingmaker because he helped convince Aegon to take the throne, and because he was the one to put the crown on Aegon's head, which we actually did see in the show. I kind of wish we did in the show see Cole trying to convince Aegon a bit more to become king, but in the end, not that big of a deal. Okay, so there are 10 Kristen Cole facts. Uh, I hope you like them. Like, subscribe. Let me know which one's your favorite fact.